I've been in this house for nearly 10 months now and still my clothes are on the floor in boxes. I think it's time I sorted this out. So my plan is to make an A-frame clothes rail and what I've got is some 2x4 construction timber. So I'm going to need two A-frames. I get two bits laid out so I can work out the angles that are needed. And what it's going to be is 10 degrees for the feet, but this angle also needs transferring to the top as well. To cut this, I can use the miter saw. So I get my Bosch 18 volt one set up and a battery put in, and then I can get the blade moved over to 10 degrees. I first cut the angle on the bottom of all four legs. With those all done, I get the blade lined up with the line I drew at the top and I can get the piece of wood clamped into place there. Now, I want a stop block, but this is longer than my mitosaur station, so I've just got this bit of wood on my bench that I can get clamped down and use that as a temporary stop. Then, I can get this bit cut on all four of them. Now, these 4x2s have rounded off corners, and I don't like the look, so I'm just going to put them through the table saw and rip off both of the rounded sides. So now these need joining together. Now, I could just screw them, that'd be simple, but I'm going to make my life more difficult and do a half lap joint. This angle is going to be far too steep for the miter saw, so I'm going to use the track saw. But first, I get the board on its side, draw a couple of lines, and then join up the corners so I can find where the center point is on this board. With the rail put on the top of the board, I can then set the plunge depth to that center line. Now I can just keep nibbling away to remove all the waste. You can see with this first one, I left about a millimeter between the cuts and that took quite a long time to do. So then I can get it clamped onto the bench and remove all the waste with a chisel. And this comes out very simply because I've made so many cuts. Now I had another three to do and I wanted to speed things up a bit. So with the next ones, I didn't make as many cuts and I had to kind of break the bits out a bit more but that worked just as well and was a bit quicker to do. You can get away with it on pine. With a hardwood, you probably need to make a lot of cuts. Have a little test and see how the fit is and I'm happy with that. Now I did make one mistake because I needed to cut two bits identical and then two bits opposite and I managed to cut one of them wrong but you'll see that mistake in a bit. Anyway as the fit's okay I can get some glue applied, push them together and get some clamps on. I leave the frames to dry for a couple of hours and then I can come back, get the clamps off and I give everything a sand down. I want to join these together and I want them to be pretty much as big as my alcove. I need three bits of wood and as you can see here I'm using that mistake piece and I did a couple more bits and I've cut off the rounded edges on all of these as well. So two of the supports are going to go at the bottom and they're also going to act as a shelf. I've got a scrap of wood where I can mark out the shelf height. Now I'm having my shelf quite high up so I can get bits underneath it on the floor. But if you are hanging longer items like dresses, you'd probably want the shelf lower. But all my summer dresses are away now for the winter, so I'm going to have the shelf a bit higher. I just get this screwed on through both sides. 
the third support goes at the top and that's going to be at the back of this rack. So for the shelf, I need some slats for it. Now I've got all the bits that cut off when I was cutting the angles, so I can use that. So I just mark out how long it needs to be, then I can get the pieces cut down on the mitre saw. Then take it over to the table saw and rip some strips. I'm going for about 18 mil thick. I'm just gonna screw these strips on, but I want the screw holes to look neat and all in the same space. So I just use a combination square and all to mark out where I want the holes to go. Then I can get a splat on, another one put up against it and screwed on. Only the second one's getting screwed on, the first one's just a spacer. Then with that on, I can move that spacer along, get another slat on and keep repeating the process until I get to the other end. I'm going to finish it with some of this polyvine wax varnish. I've used it before and it doesn't yellow pine. I want to keep that natural look. So I just get a couple of coats of that brushed on. One of the reasons I decided to make this rather than buy something was because I had this pole still in the cellophane in the house when I moved in. So I'm just going to use that mark out how long I need it and then just cut it down with a hacksaw. Now the pole's not getting fixed into place in any way, it just sits on the top of those A-frames and the weight of the clothes will keep it all in place. So now it's just getting it all filled up with clothes on hangers. I can now see how much stuff I've got and perhaps I need to downsize. I also have some space for some crates underneath and on the shelf I can get some shoes. So that's it all done. I think it looks good here and now I'm so much more organized and it's one step closer to me actually living like a real human being. So if you're interested in any of the tools I use, there's a link down below to the tools I use page. There's affiliate links so any purchases are much appreciated. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.